right, do you remember that you can use rock layers to figure out information about geologic time and understand how scientists have figured out whether, where and when different organisms existed? So we just put this together. We knew that rock layer one are the oldest fossils. Rock layer two are older than three and four. Rock layer three are older than four, and rock layer four contains the newest fossil. So if I was digging a hole, I would dig from here down. These would be the youngest, newest fossils. And as I go down, they're older, 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 oldest, okay? So this is just a little bit review of page 93 in our notebook. Um, today, you have a notebook page and you have a fun activity. Well, I don't know, it's not amazingly fun, but it's actually pretty cool. So our learning target today is, let me see if I can't get that illustrator, there we go. I can analyze fossil samples to determine relative ages of organisms to infer extinction, divergent evolution, and potential common ancestry of species. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at some fossil samples, you're gonna try and figure out how old they are with relation to one another, and then you will put them in order from oldest to youngest and complete the table to figure out um, which ones um, may have been extinct um, or how old the um, actual um, fossils were. So the oldest fossil on our table is going to be sample number two. I'm gonna give you some years and I'm gonna give you some other samples. So let's have a look at the activity together today. So you have something that looks like this. And it's called dating the fossil record activity. And this is the same learning target. Our materials today are a set of nine fossil samples. You're gonna cut them out in scissors. So you're gonna cut out all of these samples. And then you can use a partner or um, a lab team if you want. Um, up to three today would be okay. Um, and then you're gonna put them in order. So you're gonna start with fossil card number two. So that's number two. You're gonna start with that at the bottom. And then you're gonna look for another card that has this organism in it, which would be here or here. Um, and usually two don't appear at the same time, okay? So then you're gonna put them in a long line and then after, eat, after an organism becomes extinct, it will no longer appear in the later or younger fossil samples. So this explains to you how to use the fossil key. These are the dates that you're gonna use. These are the dates that you're gonna use right here. 28.5 MYA. MYA means millions of years ago. 30.2, 18.3 million years ago, 17.6 million years ago, 26.3 million years ago, 14.2 million years ago, 23.1 million years ago, 15.5 million years ago, and 19.5 million years ago. There are nine of these, right? So you want the longest one the longest time ago to start down here. So if you look at the numbers, 19, 15, 23, 14, 26, 17, 18, 30, 28, the 30.2 million years ago is the longest farthest back number that you have. And sample number two contains the globus Slimius. So I really enjoy the names of these. We have Circus Bozoinus. We have Bogus Bigus Microbius Herianesis, Fungus Amongus, Banana Banana, Bobana. And you're going to do the age of the sample and you're going to list the samples in order just to see if you can figure out how scientists relatively date different fossils that they find in different rock layers. If you're in class today, Please make sure when you're done that you pick up your mess. If you're not in class today, oh, I'm sorry, maybe you couldn't see that I put 30.2 right there. If you're not in class today, um, you'll still need to complete this activity, but just complete it when you come back. Um, you will take a picture of your notebook page 99 and submit it um, along with answering some questions about fossils today. 
All right. Um, be careful with the scissors. Don't cut yourself. They're very sharp. I mean, duh. <laughs>